Connecting central Seoul with the northeastern district is Seungbukdong in Seungbukgu. Nestled near the Bugaksan Mountain, it's a beautiful neighborhood that blends well with nature. Seungbukdong is near Gwangamun, where many foreign embassies are located. So it's home to many ambassadors. The alleys are quiet and quaint, lined with cafes and galleries where people can enjoy the scenery of Bugaksan Mountain. It's becoming a healing spot in Seoul, following Samcheongdo. Embassies in Seoul often hold cultural exchange festivals for foreign and local residents here. One of them is this festival, where you can experience Christmas before the holidays start. It's an event for sharing cultures, and for two days, the festival bustles with people. And you can't leave out great food. Each country offers native dishes enjoyed during Christmas holidays. I think it's really nice that we get to try food from all over Europe. Uh, a lot of these things I have never seen before. It's really beautiful Christmas market. In Russia, we don't have Christmas in the time. Next stop is Kilsangsa Temple. It's only a five-minute drive from the European Christmas market. This marvelous place where the walls blend with the trees is cozy and peaceful, just like a forest. Unlike other Buddhist temples, the buildings here fit snugly into the mountain terrain. This is because this place wasn't initially built as a temple. Among them, Suyun Sanbang, which means a small house of writers in the woods, is where the late author Yi Tae-jun resided. Because of its tranquility and beauty, many writers sought out to write at Suyun Sanbang. This is where the past and present coexist. Seungbukdong is where traditions stand and many cultures meet. So how about taking a stroll around this neighborhood? <laughs> 